So we are basically the world trade body for the road transport sector. So we represent tra road transport operators from, from around the world and throughout the world. So basically what it means is that anything that impacts on the efficient movement of goods by road is something that we care about. So what that means in Sub-Saharan Africa, given the way that trade flows work, given the way that transport flows work, um, we spend a lot of our time looking at the, the corridors, the corridors that connect ports with the hinterland, and look at ways to reduce the obstacles on those corridors. So the regulatory framework, for example, what does that mean in terms of how axle weights are controlled, how easy it is for drivers themselves to move across borders, um, what does it mean for the way that goods are controlled in transit and the border procedures and the costs of, of customs bonds and, and so on. So all of these things are, are things that we, we look at and we work with uh, basically anyone who has a stake in, in that process. So government, ministries of transport, customs and so on, but also then you know, the ports themselves, the transport operators, the freight forwarders, the shippers. We try to understand what the big issues are and we're, sometimes we simply lobby for, help lobby for sort of policy changes that would, that would make a difference and other times um, we come with perhaps some products and services that we explain and, and, and then we can work with stakeholders to implement them if they make sense in, in a particular region or on a particular corridor. Again, it's really around the cost and time of moving goods by road. So the, the, the surface transport of goods in the, in, this, in the region throughout East and Southern Africa has a, a disproportionate impact on the overall trade cost. So if you look, for example, at your, you, know, ex, you want to export bananas from Zimbabwe to Europe, you're com competing with South American producers from Ecuador. So you've got to compete on quality and that's something you can manage. You know, in, 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 so. Um, but you've got to compete on price uh, at, the final, at the final destination. And there are a bunch of things that, that make up that price. But really there's probably nothing to choose in, in terms of the maritime cost of moving the, the, those bananas from Ecuador or from Durban to Europe. Where the impact is, is getting those goods to the, to the port. So check, you know, cutting, a hundred, you know, cutting one day of road transport time is maybe going to be $350. That could make the difference for, in terms of export competitiveness on the on global market. So that's kind of really where we come from, is, is, is highlighting the importance of the road transport sector in the overall kind of supply chain, and then looking at the big obstacles uh, that affect the road transport sector and working out ways to, to improve it. So there are, one of the main things that we deal with globally is a UN convention called the TIR convention. It's a, it's a global convention dealing with transit. So basically, to cut a long story short, it means that um, a shipper or freight forwarder or transport operator can, within the framework of this UN convention, can have a single guarantee that he's lodged in country A and use that same customs guarantee to move goods in transit in the three, four countries that he has to travel through. So he doesn't have to organise different bonds in different countries. He doesn't have complicated border procedures to equip the bond and open a new one and things like that and search the truck. So it would cut costs and it would cut time. So we're working with the corridor organisations, the regional economic communities, national associations, national customs administrations to explain how this would work and hopefully move towards implementation in due course. There are things that we're looking at as well. Um, one of the issues in East Africa, um, and it's similar here in Southern Africa as well, is, 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 is container deposits where shippers and freight forwarders have to leave deposits um, with the shipping lines to guarantee the shipping lines uh, the return of the container. Understandable risk management from the shipping line point of view, but it's a big burden on the trade. So we're looking at whether or not there can be maybe a guarantee solution that would have, again, have a huge impact in, in terms of cutting those kind of trade costs. Uh, it's, it's my second time here. I was here last year as well, actually, which I think shows that I think it's a great uh, event. Um, I think what's really good is, is it's it's not like a, a typical conference where you have lots of people like me talking about kind of high-level policy stuff. 
you know, you've got a room full of operators and business people who know the operational issues, who, who know what's worth investing in, what, what, what's, what you know, specific issues need changing. So it's kind of not just all theoretical. You've got operators in, 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 in the room who can say, well, you know what, this is the thing that would, 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 would change things. And I think that's what's really healthy about this conference. This is very private sector driven, and you, so you can't stray too much from the reality of what's happening on the ground. You're always, the discussions are always pegged down by, by the real business people that are here trying to do, deal with these issues on a day-to-day -day basis.